So we're gonna mix together a half a cup of sugar, one of our two bananas. We're just going to break it up a little bit into the bowl. And then we're gonna mix these together. So you want to mix the sugar and the banana together for a good 35 to 40 seconds. You want a really nice banana cream sort of look to it. Then we're going to add in six tablespoons of cooled melted butter. One egg. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. and we'll mix it all together again. Next, we're gonna mix in a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So you're just gonna mix it until the ingredients are just incorporated. I'm gonna take our last banana and we're going to mash it with a fork. And I like to do this because I like little chunks of bananas in my banana muffins. So you're gonna be using very ripe bananas. So you saw mine had little freckled spots on them. Even more ripe than that will work. Just remember, the riper the banana, the sweeter the banana. We'll add the mashed bananas to the muffin batter, and we'll stir it. Now, if you wanna make banana nut muffins, just add in a quarter of a cup of chopped walnuts or pecans, it'll be delicious. Then we're gonna take our muffin tin, so this recipe is gonna give you about five or six muffins, depending on how much you fill into your muffin tin. I like to use a cookie scoop. You don't have to, but I like to use a cookie scoop because it makes all the muffins about the same size. And we're gonna fill the muffin tins with about, let's say three quarters of the way full. And you don't have to use liners. You can just lightly spray your muffin tin with some oil spray, if you like. Okay, and we're gonna pop these in the oven. Look at these, aren't these beautiful? They're so big and fluffy and they look so delicious. Also, these muffins freeze really well. So all you do if you wanna freeze these banana muffins is let them cool after you take them out of the oven, let them cool and wrap them in some plastic wrap or put them in a zip top bag and they'll keep in the freezer for about two months. These muffins are so tender and moist. They're absolutely perfect. Look at that. And I love how you see little chunks of bananas in the muffins from that whole banana that we mashed. So like I said, it uses just two bananas, but if you have just one banana that you need to use up quickly, be sure to visit our website, onedishkitchen.com, and we have a banana bread recipe that only uses one.